Thanks to EA Game Changers for making this video possible. They invited me to play Season 7 early, and I had a lot of fun doing so. In today's video, I wanted to cover some of the more unique changes they've made in Apex Legends Season 7. With the new map Olympus, the new legend, that's not the only thing that's changed. There's a lot of little small changes that a lot of people wouldn't have noticed, and also some tips I put on this list. And a few of them you might have heard of, but I feel like most of them you wouldn't have. I think we'll kick things off with some of the more obvious changes and then work our way into the more unique ones. Right. Now, most people know you can use Horizon's ability to get some pretty big high ground on your enemies. Oh, Horizon. watch this. This is a play right here. I can come up save my boy. Huge. On a whole team. Yeah, oh, I'm cracked with it. But what a lot of people aren't aware of is that her tactical ability is really good for getting the jump on enemies too. Because they give her the ability to strafe while in air and she doesn't break her feet when she lands. So what I mean by that is you can do like a mini jump and get behind enemies like I do in this clip here. I've been gone. They're not ready for these plays though. Oh. Now with the ultimate that sucks people into a radius, you can't really throw it that far, but a useful technique to get a lot further is combining her tactical to get super high and then throwing her ultimate. And you can cover so much more distance and be way more precise with the ultimate. I'm uh, watching watch this side, watch there this is play, one. Watch this play. Dang it, dude. This is the play of the century, bro. Black hole on him. Get him last one, last one. Lifeline dead, all dead, nice. all dead, all dead. All dead. Now, I know most YouTubers have covered this portal that can take you at a stupendous distance around the map, and it's really good for rotations and going from one area to the other. But there's also another little spot that I thought was pretty cool, and that was the world's longest zipline. I don't think there's ever been a zipline this long in Apex, and I don't know, I just found it kind of cool. Is there an underneath spot? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, this is a long zip. Bro, oh. this is huge. Bro. Now, with the Trident Vehicle just to make it balanced because it's super powerful to get around the map and you can escape enemies quite easily, they did make it so you don't actually have to shoot directly at the player, although you can. You can just shoot at the vehicle and you will do damage to all the players in the vehicle. Now, with the Wingman, it's 9 damage per shot when normally it would be like 45 to the player. So it's not like too overpowered where you can just beam everybody, but if you work together with your teammates, you can get rid of players in vehicles like that. They roll it up crazy. They're rolling up crazy. I cracked one, I cracked two. They're all cracked. Fry these guys. Rev's just standing there, he doesn't know how yeah, to get Yeah, he out. just sat in. I got him, I got him teleporting. Got two, got two, got two. He's stuck oh, in it, he's stuck in it. Do you want to finish her? Are they all dead? I'm stuck in my own thing. Another cool fact is that you actually can't suicide in the Trident. You can't just drive your teammates off the map if you feel like being that bad guy. It does destroy the Trident, but it does skydive you back into the map. Okay. With the mouse, too. <laughs> Taking height. Oh. That's kind of cool. Now, they did add a new attachment for pistols into the game for Season 7, and the best way to tell you about it is to show you. Don't kill me! I'm getting an attachment! Yeah, give me that quick draw! <laughs> I could have just dropped oh. out of my pocket for you. <laughs> yeah, I <laughs> you dropped it for me, what do you mean? So what does this quick draw attachment say it does? Faster weapon switching ADS time and reduce hip fire spread. I'm going to try this on the RE, yeah, low key, because... I could see this being kind of OP at the moment, but not that OP. Come on, no. I don't really notice the swap times that much, but that's because I don't have a stop on this. Okay, my aim is awful. Yeah, it's the rest of us. This quick draw is so nice, bro. It's so snappy. Yeah, I want to use this so bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's like instant. Alright, fair 3v3. Now, while Horizon's ultimate is strong at sucking you in, the closer you are to it, there are ways to get out. One of them's phasing, another one's grappling, and also Stim helps you get out of its blast quicker as well. Yo, hey, yo. Left, 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 left. I don't have a gun out. Oh! Oh! I did not just get rolled by that. Oh, what? They got dance down? Oh, oh, oh. That was massive. That was massive. The, the nade stood, in it or here? We stood no chance. Zero chance. I'm telling you, if we had purple armor. We know. No, that is a wipe and a half. <laughs> oh, man. How do you get. Can you grab fly with you or something? 
I stim down and it just drags you. It just slows you down a lot. I'm not even going to help you, Clamity. Oh, you don't win those? Bro, you little Tushy boy. What are you going to do, Tushy? I couldn't move. Yeah. <laughs> I, had no, I had no grab still, by the way. Let's talk about it. Feel bad. Oh, really? That's how we're going to end it? Fair point. Fair point. If you can grab out of it, that's a fun fact. I didn't know that. Now, one of the most interesting new areas is called Rift, and it's a little area that you can enter the portal, and it also is like covered in some sort of a dome. Giving my shields a recharge. I'm going to grab one. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. Jimmy came in playing the guitar, bro, and just ride this guy. Grappling in. Now, one of the more interesting changes is what they did to the replicators. They removed weapons from the replicator and changed it to just attachments, but also adding really useful things like battery, med kit, and obviously the standard stuff like ammo and armor upgrades are still there. But that way, you're not going to be not finding a weapon on the ground just because it's in the replicator. One of the weapon changes they made was they nerfed the hemlock. They made the burst have more recoil, but the single fire they said should be mainly unaffected. And they also did reduce the headshot damage, which I honestly didn't even notice. And you're going to see it here in this clip. We should be able to fry right here, Loki. I got their party flash as fuck. Oh, these guys are burgers, bro. Oh like, my god. I hate these. This is your fucking fry. First. Blood on almost cracked. Blood on cracked. Behind you. Then. Oh. Nice play. Let's go. Was that yours? Yeah, yeah that's that fine. Yours. That's fine. That's fine. That was huge. It actually saved my life. I right, hear people on me. Yeah, here, 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 here. Over here, over here. The full three man. Ooh. I don't Blood think that's that great. Blood Blood down. Dead. Yeah, her, uh, oh, Horizon, or Octane's one. Bang one. They're all dead, they're all dead. We're farming! Now, one of the big debates, and what the devs said themselves is the biggest balance challenge is Horizon's ultimate. They don't want to make it insanely too overpowered, and they don't want to make it too underpowered. There's actually a bit of debate. Some people think her kit is too strong, and some people don't think it's strong enough. And I think it's more about how you use it, but we will have to wait to see to how the meta evolves. But currently, I do believe it is strong enough. This clip here demonstrates some of the insane uses for blocking enemies. You're going to see it used against me, and me use it to pull off a pretty insane clutch. Wraith is one, and they're getting and flashing. Better though, but I don't have no help. Trying to take his armor, nice. I'm holding I'm not first sure. aid. They got perp from me too, and a med kit, and bat. They're getting thirded. They're getting thirded. Just stay in this room, stay in this room. Call to me. Don't let him know you're They're in the pushing. room. Recharging my shields. Huge. Oh, I just threw mine. That's actually a good play by him. Fuck. <laughs> Tell me they got third and he didn't get that off. They did get thirded. Wait, I didn't use mine. Ramparts to the left with Sheila. Wanna see my singularity? Watch this play. Okay, no, don't watch that play. I won't be throwing this, bro. No cap. In case you missed it, you actually see them through the wall very lightly when they're affected by the ultimate. Now, the ultimate ended up saving my life because it dragged her off that head glitch so I could single them out for a 1v1. Yes, it's not the strongest in terms of it holding them there for the longest period of time because you can fight against it. It's just really powerful in luring them to the spot and then immediately pushing them or in that circumstance, just pulling them away from a certain area so you can single out the fights into 1v1s. Now, something I'm sure everyone is aware of, but I wanted to mention it anyway, is the R99 is back. 
and a lot of people are really happy about that. I don't know really what is stronger between the R99 and the Vault, but I do have a feeling it kind of is the Vault, but that does not mean the R99 is not extremely powerful, because it has been a good gun for the longest period of time, and still is, but they did nerf it back down to 27 bullets from the care package, and they also returned its damage back to normal as well. Maybe the meta will evolve, and maybe I'm wrong, but the Vault does seem to be a little bit stronger. I think they're getting a uh, there's, there's a team above us. Oh, no, front. Coming in. Watch your right, watch your right. Wait, he's out. Intelligent, intelligent. Getting a hat off. Do they have top? Pop the bat. Yeah, up top, up top. One of the biggest legend changes they made was make Corsic gas damage go from 4 all the way up to 10 to now in Season 7 go from 6 to 12. But they also made it so you can see easier in his gas which was one of the biggest complaints. So it's sort of a buff and a nerf. Nice, all oh God, bro. Dude, I am dying. It had a Mozambique. Use the Phoenix kit. What's the top? I knocked one. I got a horizon on me. I got the last one on me. I am taking fire, Fred. I am... He just fucking eva the shit out of me. I knocked another one. On this. Yeah, up, on up, 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 on. Horizon weak. Yeah, he's dead. Horizon weak, or er, Silva. Nice. Good kill. Behind. My grapple just That was me. easy, man. It's up top. Blood. Last team, last team, last team. They pushed no. up. No, he said another squad, 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You kill right? Right here. Oh, it was two teams. They're teaming. Let's go! Nice. Easy job. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go! The new map feels great. 21. Not okay. bad. A third of the server. Anyway, that is all for this video. I just wanted to cover some of the important changes and the more unique ones. If you want the full patch notes, there will be a link down in the description. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video. And if you did, don't forget to hit the smack that like button. It really does help out the videos. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. You guys, listen to this. Watch this. <coughs> Mighty Zeus, God of Thunder from Down Under. <coughs> Anybody have a lozenge? That really, I might be bleeding in the throat right now.